Hey guys, Dana with Spun Paradise Cotton Candy here. So today we are going to compare the three machines that I get asked the absolute most about. I'm going to start with the Nostalgia Cotton Candy Maker. This machine, for not much more co than the cost of the sugar floss itself, you can get this machine. It ranges about, depending on where you get it, between $30 and $40. I feel like this machine is totally worth it, even if it eventually breaks. If you got a good amount of use out of it, it's totally worth the cost. It produces super fluffy, fun cotton candy. I really, really like that the bowl is open here on the top and it's clear so little ones and adults alike can totally see the cotton candy producing and being made, and which is like the fun part of cotton candy. It really looks pretty much new. After every use, you just pop out the little top and rinse it and it's totally clean and ready to go again. So super easy to use, super easy to clean, which I've showed both in a different video. So I highly recommend this for, you know, just home use. You can't make a ton of cotton candy at once. This is totally just like something fun to have at home for the dinner party, for a super small birthday party, and nothing more than that. This isn't for catering or anywhere. where car school carnival, this is not gonna make enough cotton candy. So that, keep that in mind with this machine. Accessories wise, it does come with this handy little scoop. The scoop actually measures the perfect amount that can go in this machine per spin. So you never wanna like do two of these or three of these. It's just one at a time until it empties out of the machine and then you can scoop another scoop in. So yeah, this comes with the machine and then also these will come with the machine as well. Uh, two reusable cotton candy cones. They're super convenient, especially if you're getting this for the kiddos. To have those is really fun. And that way you don't have to worry about having cones. This really doesn't produce a ton enough to really need cones. I have mentioned before, I do like to use paper cones, or not paper cones, but paper straws with this machine just because they're really thin and little and easy to use with how tiny this machine is. So I do recommend that, but otherwise these are the accessories that come with it. This machine, as far as production wise, 20 minutes to heat up, always, always 20 minutes. It really needs to get hot before you're putting any sugar in this one. Once it is heated up after 20 minutes, like I said, it does produce a really nice fluffy cotton candy. Um, once you pour the sugar in, it does take about a minute for it to start producing cotton candy. This machine doesn't have a temperature temperature control on it. It just has the on off button, just so you guys know. The only bummer to that really is um, if you can, because you can't control the temperature, if it's running really hot, you're not, your cotton candy may not be as colorful or flavorful as it would be in another machine because the temperature does um, affect. The higher the temperature, the less flavor color you're gonna have. So just keep that in mind with this machine. It's really just about your application with it and what you're wanting to do with it. But again, super fun for just like a tabletop, throw it on the kitchen counter or on the dining table and have some fun. This is like perfect machine for you, the nostalgia. This is the Vivo. If you guys have ever read my blog post comparing machines, I do talk about the Carnival King um, Vortex machine instead. They're the same machine, like literally. Uh, we use both, the Carnival King and this is the Vivo. This is just the one that I brought out today for the video. I do have another video comparing this Vivo and a Carnival King so that you can see that like structurally, mechanically, they're like the exact same machine just a little bit different aesthetics to them, but that's it. Uh, the Vivo is like super perfect for small event catering, like private events or smaller farmer's markets. It would be okay for two. I prefer to still take out my whirlwind when I can, but this machine is so perfect for just, it's a mid-grade machine. It runs up 200, about $200 for the machine. It's great for just nice private events, weddings, things like that. It's the perfect size for events. Um, and that's what I really love about this. I also love that this weighs about 22 pounds, super light compared to some of our bigger machines, easy to transport. Love that about this machine. Cleaning this machine as well is super easy. I've done a whole separate video with that, but just like pop it off, clean the head, it's really similar to the nostalgia. So I like that about this as well. The simplicity of this machine is you just can't beat it, especially for the amount that it produces. So production wise on this machine, we're looking at 
spending about two cones a minute with this machine. It produces super nice fluffy cotton candy as well. Accessories wise, the bubble does not actually come with the machine. You have to order that separate, but it does come with the sugar scoop. It's somewhere there. Okay, it's here in the front. This is the perfect measurement as well for this machine. So one scoop per spin, one scoop per cone pretty much. Once you run out and it's not producing cotton candy anymore, another scoop of this. So this is really convenient just to really just straightforward know how much sugar you need to be pouring in there or you shouldn't be pouring in there. The cotton candy does release vertically out of this machine. Uh, and because of that, I really recommend the bubble. It's about an extra $80 for the bubble. It does come separately. Any bubble will do as long as it's about a 21 inch diameter on Amazon, especially there's a bunch of different ones. Totally, as long as you know your diameter's in that range, 20 to 22 inches, you're pretty good uh, to go and it will fit. And again, because it's a vertical release from the head, it's gonna be a mess without this. So I would totally recommend going with that. The minimal vibration with this machine as well, so really, quiet for events and that's really why I really like this one for private events especially weddings and things like that that might be a little bit more elegant or quiet the vibration is really minimal I know I've said it a bunch of times the foam on the bubble we just add that foam to the bubbles on this Re highly recommend that just to give it a nice snug fit so that there if there is any vibration we're really minimizing that this machine also does not have a temperature control that is what I would say is like the one downfall to this machine. And again, like I just mentioned on the nostalgia as well, because you cannot control the temperature, the, the flavor and the color might be a little bit different than it would be in a machine where you can get that lower temperature. So it is kind of a bummer, but it, the temperature seems to stay pretty even on this machine and we consistently get really good cotton candy out of this machine. So I really love this. Again, if you're just starting out a cotton candy business, this is the size you really want. If you're not high volume manufacturing, you really don't need a bigger machine. This is super perfect. I do recommend having two if you can of these machines so that um, if the belt, because it does run off of a belt and sometimes they can break, if that happens to break on you at an event, you have another machine with you. And also this machine only can run about 45 to 60 minutes consistently and then it needs a 20 minute cool down. So if you wanna have a second machine to be running during that cool down, that's perfect. So if you're just starting out, especially an actual cotton candy business, this is your machine. And I should mention too that like, if belts do go on this machine, they're pretty easily can be replaced and ordered from the manufacturer. So just keep that in mind with this machine. We are gonna move on to the gold medal whirlwind. I love these machines. This particular one is from the 80s, still runs like a champ. It's ran for 24 hours straight, for seven days solid, for high volume manufacturing for us, as well as our other gold medal whirlwinds as well. This is a super solid machine. It runs about $1,000 and it is 100% worth it if you are doing any type of high volume. That doesn't have to be necessarily just like pre-packaging it for retail applications. That could be if you're like at a bigger farmer's market, a bigger fair, music festival, anything like that where you're just going to be pumping out a lot of cotton candy. You absolutely will want a larger commercial grade machine like the Whirlwind. And totally worth the money for this machine. It does weigh 50 pounds, so this is a heavier machine. And again, that's why I prefer, if I can, to leave it in the facility if it's for a private event or a smaller event. I try to keep it in the facility just because it's weight. It's heavy and it's really, really big. You can see the difference. And that really matters sometimes, you know, the difference in size for the event that you're doing and aesthetically what that looks like, right? So we just want to keep that in mind as well. This machine does self-clean itself. The other two, you're able to, you know, pop off the head and rinse it. This one, you cannot. This one self-cleans itself through heat. When you're done spinning, you just like turn that heat on high, as high as it will go, and you burn off, it will burn off any sugar that it has in the head. It does need a deeper clean as well every few months 
the deep or clean really depends, the frequency of that is really going to depend on how often you're using this machine, like how much volume you're really getting out of this machine. And we're going to make a video that's totally separate on how to do that for this because it's pretty involved for its deep clean. But just know for like its regular self-clean, after every spin, turn it on high heat, burn out all the sugar, and you're good to go again. As far as accessories wise, it comes with the silver bowl and the machine when you order it. And if you're ordering brand new, I'm just going to take off the bubble for a minute. If you're ordering brand new from Gold Metal, it comes with this net as well. This is super helpful. The net I absolutely love and I'll actually just like, in case you guys can't see it, it just clips on all the way around the bowl. It catches all of the coffee candy. You don't have like flyaways everywhere with the net and it really keeps it just a nice even consistency in the bowl as well. So I highly recommend it. You can totally order the net separate. Like if you've found a whirlwind, you know, online used or whatever, and it, they don't have the net anymore, you can definitely order that separately. The bubble is separate as well. So really the only the bowl and the machine come together. The bowl though, or the bubble I should say, is totally worth it. I always say that about all the machines, but the bubbles really are worth it. They, it is just a disaster of a sticky mess without them. So highly recommend, especially if you're manufacturing with this, you're gonna want to have that bubble as well. So this machine is awesome. It heats up quickly. It makes a lot of cones or containers. If you're doing containers or bags, we usually can get like six to eight cones per minute from this machine. So totally, you know, makes a lot of cotton candy quickly. And again, that's really why I recommend this for big events or for high volume manufacturing. It's fast, it pumps it out fast. You're not gonna get that from this machine. It's not gonna be super, super fast if there's the demand for a higher a higher amount. This one, again, is from the 80s, so it's going to look a little bit different than if you've just bought a brand new Whirlwind, which are super fancy and pretty too, but all of them are the same in the fact that they have temperature control on the Whirlwinds. Very, very important to me. We're able to control the temperature on this machine, go high, go low, whatever it is we need. We try to keep the temperature as low as we can on the Whirlwind, always. Whether we're spinning cones, we're packaging in containers, whatever it is, the lower the temperature on this machine, the stronger the flavor and the color will be in your cotton candy. And that's for any cotton candy, any sugars that you're using. So highly recommend this machine for that. And the temperature control really makes a huge difference, especially if you're sending this out to retail shelves or you're at an event, you know, at, at a big festival that really can matter. So again, I recommend this one for high volume manufacturing. They're all pretty easy to clean. All the bowls just come up off of the machines, the bubbles as well, hose them down and rinse them off and you're good to go again. So that part is pretty easy for the bowl and the bubbles across the board for all of these machines. So that's a rundown of these three machines and their differences and their similarities and really just figuring out what your application is for the for cotton candy and your personal needs for your business or for personal needs or wants, I should say. I hope that helped out a bit as far as these machines and kind of helping you know which cotton candy machine is best for you at this point. As always, stay sweet.